News. I'm Ava Holzer, and today we'll bring you all of your campus news as well as news from across the country. Interested in learning new skills? Learn how to crochet with virtual crocheting lessons on October 17th from 1 to 3 p.m. Participants will learn how to crochet a mug hugger. Sign up for the virtual event online and supplies will be mailed to you. For more information, contact allison.sutalongo at shu.edu. Join members of Seton Hall for a virtual run. As a part of Seton Hall Celebration Week, there will be a virtual Farinella 5K run. Be sure to wear Seton Hall gear during the Seton Hall Week tradition. Use the hashtag Seton Hall Weekend to be featured on the university's channels. Register online and contact the university events at shq.edu. And now we're going to head over to Wilner Lewis with your sports update. Wilner? Thanks, Ava. I'm Wilner Lewis, and I'm here to give you the latest things in sports. In breaking news yesterday, Alabama's football coach Nick Saban and athletic director Greg Brine tested positive for COVID-19. At the time of taping, there is no updates between the matchups between number two Alabama and number three Georgia on Saturday night. Moving from collegiate sports to professional sports, for the first time since 2010, the American people got the opportunity to watch a Tuesday night NFL game. As for the matchup itself, it was pretty much a one-sided affair as the Tennessee Titans absolutely demolished the Buffalo Bills 42-16. Ryan Tannehill completed 21 passes for 195 yards and three touchdowns, while Derrick Henry carried the ball 19 times for 57 yards, two touchdowns, and a highlight play where he absolutely bullied defender Josh Norman with a stiff arm that sent Norman flying. Henry said he's been doing many curls, and honestly, I need to get back to doing some too. Staying in the realm of the NFL and running backs, Le'Veon Bell has been released by the New York Jets days after the Jets were exploring trade options. Head coach Adam Gase and Bell never seemed to click, and the final straw that broke their relationship was following the Jets' 30-10 loss to the Arizona Cardinals, where Bell liked Twitter comments from media members saying he was being misused. Gase responded the day after saying, quote, I hate that that's the route we have to go with all this instead of just talking about it, but it seems that's just the way guys do it nowadays. Lastly, shifting over from the gridiron to the diamond, the MLB playoffs are heating up in the league championship series. On Tuesday, the Braves took a 2-0 series advantage over the Dodgers in the NLCS after defeating them 8-7. The Dodgers made it interesting in the bottom of the ninth, scoring four runs, but a ground out by A.J. Pollock ended the rally. Over in the ALCS, the Tampa Bay Rays scored all five of their runs in the sixth inning en route to a 5-2 victory over the Houston Astros. The Rays are now up 3-0 in the series, and both matchups were in action on Wednesday night. That is all for your sports update. Once again, I'm Wilner Lewis. Now back to Ava with news around the tri-state area. Thanks, Wilner. Some New Jersey towns have decided to ban Halloween trick-or-treating due to the coronavirus pandemic. Plainfield, Boundbrook, and Glenridge are among the places that have banned trick-or-treating. The mayor of Plainfield has also decided to cancel other traditions, such as trunk-or-treating. Other New Jersey towns have limited the hours of trick-or-treating. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy has said Halloween is on. Princeton University has agreed to pay close to $1 million back to female professors. The Department of Labor's Office of Federal Contract Compliance Programs found that 106 female professors were paid less than their male counterparts. Ben Chang, the spokesman for Princeton University, said, the university contested to the OFCCP's allegation because it was based on a flawed statistical model that grouped all full professors together, regardless of department, and thus bore no resemblance of how the university actually hires, evaluates, and compensates its faculty. Now it's time to take a look at the upcoming weather with Mickey Grennan. Mickey? Thanks, Ava. Hello, Pirates. I'm Mickey Grennan here with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Today, the weather will be warm and sunny with a high of 75 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. Friday and Saturday will reach a high of 60 and lows of 42. And we'll see showers that turn into consistent rain overnight. So if you're planning on going out Friday night, you might want to bring an umbrella. However, the rain will be gone Saturday afternoon. Sunday will be cloudy, reaching lows of 46 and a high of 62. Monday, the clouds will stay as the temperature raises to a high of 68 and a low of 51. That'll do it for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Mickey Grennan, and now back to Ava at the desk. Thanks, Mickey. New Brunswick-based Johnson & Johnson has stopped their COVID-19 vaccine trial after a participant falls ill. It is unsure if the participant's illness was caused by the vaccine. The company said, We have temporarily paused further dosing in all our COVID-19 vaccine candidate clinical trials. Following our guidelines, the participant's illness is being reviewed and evaluated by the Ensemble Independent Data Safety Monitoring Board as well as our internal clinical and safety physicians. That's going to be all for this episode of Pirate News. I'm Ava Holzer, and thanks for watching. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a great day.